Dr. Chris Richardson, and I'm a research scientist at the IWK, and I also have an appointment at Dalhousie University in the Microbiology and Immunology Department, as well as the Pediatrics Department here. And uh, I work with viruses, and I've specialized in looking at viral receptors for, um, I guess, the last 20 years of, of my career. A receptor is a protein that is expressed on the cell surface of cells that the virus uses to attach and initiate viral infections. More recently, we discovered uh, a new receptor on epithelial cells. And normally, on epithelial cells, this receptor is expressed in the cracks between cells, and it's kind of um, away from the virus. It cannot, it's inaccessible to the virus. But in cancer cells, this epithelial receptor, which is called Nectin-4, or PVRL-4, which is an abbreviation which I won't define, but uh, Basically, this receptor is on the uh, surface and expressed all over the adenocarcinoma, which are tumor cells. And these are tumors of the lung, breast, ovary, um, uh, and colon, and very important tumors and often very deadly ones. And so the virus can actually attack, attach and attack these tumors and kill them, either by its own uh, uh, mechanisms, because viruses can destroy cells, but they can also express viral antigens on the surface of the uh, tumor cell and this makes them susceptible to immune attack by the immune system. So in a sense they're a cancer vaccine, a therapeutic cancer vaccine. Well, the implications for treatment are usually young adults and uh, adults in the prime of their life who have uh, lung cancer, colon cancer, breast cancer, and ovarian cancer. And uh, these uh, tumors are very lethal in many cases and, and hard to eradicate so I think that this would be a, a really good novel approach something that we'll, we will be following up in clinical trials in the next couple of years or so. It might not be the sole uh, treatment for, for these cancers, but it certainly uh, will help and uh, uh, enhance treatments, uh, present treatments with chemotherapy and uh, radiation. Um, it's another uh, tool in our box, a tool in our arsenal against cancer. And uh, the fact is, is that it's a new field, oncolytic therapy, but Canada is one of the leaders. IWK, it's, it's a very interesting experience. Before I worked in a hospital that was full of older people who had cancer, my mother was treated at the Princess Margaret Hospital in Ontario Cancer Institute, but here there are children, um, and I think it's a little bit more uplifting because uh, children seem to respond to cancer treatments and um, generally treatments in general, treatments in general are much better than uh, uh, adults. Uh, they're survivors, and uh, there's a lot more hope here, I think. Measles virus infects uh, lymphocytes and epithelial cells and a lot of people have been looking for the epithelial receptor, the elusive epithelial receptor for the last six years. And uh, these people are located in laboratories in Japan, intense co uh, competitors in Japan, in France, Germany and the USA, two labs in the USA, one at the Mayo Clinic. And people have been looking for this receptor um, for quite some time. I think one of the, the breakthroughs was that we started looking for the receptor on normal airway epithelial cells, that is lung cells, and it wasn't really expressed very much there. And But when we added a fetal calf serum, it started them growing very, very fast, uh, as if they were embryonic cells, a receptor was expressed and measles virus infected them extremely well. So we reasoned that adenocarcinomas, which are... Uh, um, which originate from epithelial cells, which are cancerous epithelial cells, should be very, very susceptible to measles virus, and this was the, uh, the, was, this was the, uh, the, the case. And um, we actually looked at lung cancer cells at first, then breast cancer cells, then ovarian cancer cells, and now we're looking at uh, uh, bladder uh, carcinomas as well as pancreatic carcinomas, and that would be even uh, that would be something because uh, that's a, a really fatal disease. But anyways, we found that breast cancer cells and lung cancer cells were really infected very well by this virus. And this is what I actually saw in November 22nd. Um, cells expressing the receptor were now susceptible to the green fluorescent measles virus. And I just stood back and, and, and just kind of heaved a sigh of relief. And <laughs> the postdoc that was next to me, uh, his name was Liang, uh, he said, you found it, didn't you? And I said, yes.